got ones for fourth king, twos for super rye bread. It looks like fourth king has not changed his team, still rocking Jiren, Gogeta, and Tia against super rye bread's team that he used to get into the winners' finals. We got GT Goku, Bardock, and UI Goku. First to three. But they start both players going in hard. Jumping over the ball, getting a dragon rush. Oh no, what happened? The stream. Okay. Alright, change that, cool, cool. Alright, Bribery going for the empty jump low off of the assist. Oh, we have a dragon rush, and that's a dead Jiren. I was behind. My apologies. Vegeta coming in, Ryber looking very dominant. No. How will he escape this pressure? No, does not block the jump. Ryber looking very strong. Poor King still has meter, but I does not block. Oh, it looks like Ryber wants to take out Gogeta right now. Alright, Ryred has spent the spark and taken out Gogeta. It is now up to TN with spark on deck. Five meters on incoming. Can Four King make the comeback? Alright, getting that first hit. The start for his momentum. <clears throat> but it's taken away immediately. He sparks up to stay safe. Ryred going with a reset off of the Invincible Wake. And 4th King converted off of the key blast. It looks like he's gonna spend the meter to try to kill UI. He's not. Mix up and gets Chaozu to lock him down. <coughs> Good start. The game isn't over yet. Tien still has a lot of spark. But now he's forced to block. Good defense. Oh! But gets opened up by the stagger pressure. Get the guaranteed pressure off the EX ball, now Tien is back to blocking. Vanishes out of the corner, but Rybrid vanishes out himself. It looks like he's still gonna need one more hit to kill. What's the option? Alright. He's spending all of it. Still, still Tien, at 0 0? Still at 0 0? Uh, it looks like Tien may still be on a piece. Alright, he vanishes out and avoids the mix-up, but now is fighting for his life. Gets hit by the Dragon Rush, and that should be Game 1. Game 1 to Super Rybred. Looking very dominant. Looking very, very dominant in that first game. Alright, going straight into Game 2. Super Rybred is up one game in this first to three. Looking very dominant in Game 1. How will 4th King respond? One of the biggest issues that Fourthing seems to be having against the GT is blocking the overheads and well, block, blocking the mix-up after the EX ball. I would imagine if seeing a tiny away. character with overhead would be very difficult right? to see, right? Because it just looks like a normal. The other hard part is that with this team specifically, the EX, using the EX ball is a key part of this of uh, Rybrand's team. But if Fort King can find a way to avoid getting hit by the by the EX ball, Fort King will have a much better time. All right, here we go. Fort King's ooh. Vibrate doesn't respect anything. He this, wants in, and he wants to get in. This immediately shut down any pressure he had, especially with the UI's rising heat assist being invincible. It allows you to have a lot of freedom. On, in your offense. Okay, he's bringing in Gogeta. I'm not sure what the decision was there. But Ryred is still looking dominant. Fourth King needs to find a way to get out of this pressure. Okay, Fourth King has the corner, but it's hit by the UI assist. Uh, 
All right, Super Dash's Clash. That was good defense by Rybred. Oh, but gets hit. Okay. The first solid hit from 4th King in this game. What will he do in this situation? Oh, no. He didn't do anything. Oh, but Rybred doesn't finish his combo. Ryzer tries to go for a Dragon Rush, but gets punished for it. <coughs> and GT Goku is out. Ryzer still has Sparking on deck. Fourteen still having all three characters, and Jiren is not looking super healthy. Oh, it looks like he wants to get in there now. Oh, good conversion off of the UI ball. Now it's Barak's turn to play. Oh, he does not punish. And he gets the conversion! Nice. Ooh, excellent! That was really good. This is gonna be a lot of damage. Okay, bringing in Jiren. Let Gogeta... Let Gogeta... Alright, Poor King is not out of this yet. He wants to win. Good block in the overhead. Oh! oh the counter! Here comes the counter. All right, Gogeta has gotten his health, his blue health back. Avoids the assist call, gets hit, trying to vanish. Oh, Fourth King is looking down now. Oh, as soon as I say that, yeah. Rabbit comes out swinging and gets the gets the hit. Good conversion. This should be a dead Gogeta. Use a second meter, one meter to kill. Don't need a level. Two. Uses the level 3 to guarantee the kill. I I'd like, like to think it, it was more uh, the style on him. Well, the other part too is that his health was at a very odd point where a level 1 may not have killed. Oh. Okay. Will he convert off this? Okay, he goes for the knockdown. Brybred does not take the bait. And does not try to push a button there, as so he would have been hit. Oh, but 4 King drops the combo. Rabbit challenging. Neither of them want to lose here. Ooh, no meter to f convert off of the key blast. Oh, but Rybred does not convert off the UI assist. Oh, he's in. Oh, nice. that was really good. That was a good dragon punch. One of the best options you have when you get hit by an overhead mid screen is to backdash. That's one of your best options. Either backdash or or vanish. I don't want to say vanish because you can be punished for trying to vanish. However, backdashing is your safest option. But now, we have an honest match between Tien and UI Goku, but UI Goku is six meters, and that is not one. Barbet is going is styling on him right now. Trying to go for mix-ups, trying to land a hit, and here it is. Right. He challenges and kills UI! What a scramble! Ford King taking game two. Rai well, definitely like we... will change his team. Yeah. Looks like he changed right there. Now, in my opinion, this team that Rybred is using is weak against Jiren. And if 4th King can capitalize on that, the the assist calls. If he can capitalize on the assist calls when they're full screen and neutral, 4th King should win this game. But if Rybred is smart with his assist calls, it will not be easy for 4th King. Like right there, see? Did he right just... there. He just countered the assist call and hit Broly. Yes. So the way that the way that this works oh. is that he would just put up if he sees the assist come out because they have such long startup in full screen. There's nothing that uh, there's nothing that's stopping him from just doing it. Oh, he gets an excellent punch. And then he just gets magically teleported with to yep. the main the main character out there, and then uh, free combo. Free combo. Yep. Just like this. Bye bye, Broly. So why, if Rai wants to use this team against Fort King, he needs to respect Fort King's Jiren. If he doesn't respect Fort King's Jiren, this is not gonna be. This is not gonna be good. 
Right here, fourth king's looking very dominant. Already taken out the first character. Yes, he has no meter. Oh, here comes the spark. Rabbit's now pushing buttons. He wants momentum. It doesn't matter how he gets it, but he needs it right now. But fourth is just avoiding the pressure. Oh, oh watch his toes. Up. Okay, we got our we got a conversion. Here we go. Solid combo. But he doesn't have a vanish. He didn't end the combo properly. And he gets opened up by mixing himself up. Ooh, that was a raw tag. He sparks. He drops the combo. Oh no, that's a dead UI. Oh, that's it. UI is dead. And Ryan has to make a comeback without sparking. Again, no sparking on either side. He drops the combo! He's got all that meter too. Oh, and there it is. See, Rybred needs to understand that he can't call his assist from full screen against Yuri. It's very different playing the team he did before with this team now. I guess he may have UI, it may be C assist, but Jiren takes advantage of the player to do Oh my goodness, that was that's it. That is game two. Just like that. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful is ending. <clears throat> the Tribred needs to understand that if he does use those assists from full screen, it's not gonna be a fun game for him. Rybred has to play a little smarter against a Jiren of against Fourth King and his Jiren. All right, thank you, 808. Call me Ace, 808. Um, thank you for the update. And Rybred is back, and we are on to game four in this first of three sets. Fourth King just needing to win one to move on to Grand Finals, and Rybred needing to make the comeback here. He has made the switch back to his GT team, which had great success in the first game. But after the loss in the second game, he changed his team. Yeah. Maybe he thought he was, he was downloaded. Alright, well, now, it looks like we have first solid hit. He's snapping out and bringing in TN. Rybred looks like, it, looks like he understands that that assist isn't getting in trouble. He can't freely move around with that assist out there. Good super dash to avoid the low by TN. And now we have pressure once again. But Jiren destroys the Bardock assist before it can even come out. And he brings in Gogeta. TN in the back. And there's no assist to cover him there. This looks like a free punish. He sparks up to save himself. And super dashes to get a conversion and get the knockdown. Super dashing back in with sparking. You have immediate pressure off super dash if they are forced to block. Not all characters have a great super dash pressure in sparking. GT Goku is blessed with being one that does. And he attempts to vanish the UI assist. But he gets hit, hit during the match. Vanishes to save himself. No reflects. Oh, he's pushing buttons. Alright, we have pressure. And he goes in with the empty jump throw. And that is the first character down. And we're watching toes. Not watching it, not watching. Head here is for everyone. Alright, we have good watch now. Vanishes to escape pressure and has the soft has oh, sorry has the knockdown. Oh! Rybred comes out swinging, but drops the combo, hits Bardock, and we're back in scramble situations. That is that shoulder is not invincible to body; it's only invincible to projectile. Oh, gets hit anyway. Good block. Good block on the pressure. Ooh, nice. Oh, it does not block his toes. Yeah. Marring a drop, this should be a dead care. <coughs> Alright, keeps it safe and keeps it simple. Does not extend the combo with the assist. Goes straight into super. Barbie looking solid in this game, just like he did in game one. And there's no sparking on either side. Resources are deep. And he gets the conversion, but oh, never mind. Okay, sliding knockdown. 
Tien's turn. Oh, but he punches the super dash and gets opened up by the instant air dash. Yeah, this is looking good. Barring a drop, it should be a dead. Oh, he has four meters. That's it. So we're going on to game five here in this first to three set. Winner will move on to grand finals. The loser gets sent into the loser's bracket. <laughs> Right, here we go, game five between Four King and Super Rival. Two of my favorites to win the tournament. The question is, who will come out on top in this set? Oh, looks like Four King has made the switch to UI Goku himself. Taking that invincible assist, I agree. Oh, does not get the conversion. All right, he's keeping those assists off. Ooh. Definitely more aggressive this round. Now that Jiren has a, his own invincible assist to work with, he can play offense as much as he wants to. Oh! He gets opened up as yep. soon as I say Kind of curious for everyone. Working. All right, vanishes out to escape. Brings in UI. Now, personally, I have not seen Orkin play UI Goku. I do not think he ever... I'm not sure how strong or good his UI Goku is. Maybe. All right, defensive part. Maybe he's just trying something out for uh, grand finals. Well, perhaps. Yeah. This isn't elimination. Either of them are. Both of them are still in the tournament. If either of them loses. Okay, brings in UI Goku. Does not get the knock. Blocks the anti jump low. Excellent defense there. Good on. Good block on the cross up. Still blocking. Respecting the pressure. Oh, but does not respect the ball afterwards. GT doesn't have any way to end the combo on a slight knockdown. He super dashes through the TN assist. An unfortunate turn of events. UI should be dead here. Right, Rybred looking very strong once again. Fourth King is down. Both character, both players have used their spark. But Rybred with a very commanding. Excellent vanish on the projectile to prevent himself from taking the damage from the counter super. Oh, he didn't believe in his own hits. And that might be it for Jiren. Okay. This is not looking good for fourth king. This is not. Looks like there's about to be a fifth king. Let's see what Tien can do. Oh! 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 This is not looking good at all. It's tricky Ryan overheads, man. Making his way slowly to grand final. Fourth king. Oh! That's a lot of damage. Vanishes to avoid the mix-up. If Fourth King went for anything else, he would have gotten it. He decides to keep him in to guarantee the pressure, but misses the air dash to get to grant himself that pressure. No 2H. Oh, they're playing a lot of this game in the air. It's very dangerous. And that it Super wow. Ryber moving on through grand finals and putting Fourth King in the loser's brackets. Up next, I believe we have Leopard and Anomoba. On a first to two. On a first to two.